All right, greetings everyone. Uh, this is a video on how to install your pedestrian warning um, loudspeaker on your Tesla Model 3. So I've been putting this off for a little bit, but um, I decided I was gonna go ahead and do it myself. There are other avenues you can directly go with Tesla uh, and get them to do this for you. I believe it's approximately $290, including all labor costs and supply of the um, software along with the hardware. So I will um, switch the camera around now. So my car's over here. Now the first thing that you're gonna need to do when you um, pop it in the garage is lock your wheel. Um, completely turn to the left there um, because you're able to do the install without taking off the wheel provided you've got you know some pretty small hands I've got some normal hands here and I'll get into more detail on it but there's some clips let's put the flash on here and so you've got one two three clips there that need to come off and then we'll be able to get this little cover off and um, have a look for the wiring and you can see quite easily on this speaker here that it's got a little socket there for the cable that does exist um, in this particular model I'm not sure about previous generations but this is a 2021 Tesla Model 3 and it does have um, the existing cabling on there hello Panda you're interested in the speaker are you yes okay so I'm gonna Get on to the next bit and we'll start again. Okay, so we're about to start by opening up the side panel um, on the wheel arch, just getting off those little tabs. So what you will need, um, if you don't have one of these, you could probably get away with using a flathead screwdriver. Um, the little tabs, I'll show you on here. So you can see just on the little side there, there's a little groove. Um, you'll get the little flathead in there uh, if that's what you're using, otherwise, um, you can show up here. Let's see, it's just easier with this type of tool. Once it's in that position, there, you should just be able to wiggle it and it'll come out. So, you're going to take out those three little, um, we'll call them little tiny cover things, don't know the actual names for them. And uh, you're gonna need some screws as well. I've got a set here from Ikea. It's got all different sizes. Um, I just had a look before um, because a few days ago I opened this up. I wasn't expecting the package to come until maybe next year, but it's here now. So this type of screw probably be more than enough. Um, you can see, you can put it down here on the side. And as long as there's enough exposure for it to grip onto in its little housing. I'm sure it'll be fine. You don't want to go too long because if you go too long, you'll probably just go through the bottom of your plastic <laughs> under, underneath the car. Um, you'll need a screwdriver as well. And uh, yeah, I'll get onto the next bit and see how we go. One of the other useful things is probably a torch. So once you've taken off all your little cover thingies. Um, you should be able to wedge in your little slide tool there. Uh, it's a bit hard for me to do this holding uh, my camera here and also doing this, but you'll get the idea. Uh, I'll just turn the torch off. Let's put flash on here. That way I've got another hand. And uh, you'll be able to see, be aware there might be some dirt or something that comes out, but yeah. It's under your wheel arch, so yeah, it's gonna be there. Um, so I've already been in here, and you can see down there, I've already installed the screws in the corner. So I'm gonna now have to undo the screws. <laughs> There's no need to put the screws in there. I was just over, over preparing myself. Um, and while I'm in that spot there, um, so the cable that we're gonna be getting onto, here it is here. This is our little speaker cable. Uh, it's got a cap on there. You're just gonna use that same tool that you used to get the little covers off. Wedge that in there, pull that back, and the little cover will come off. 
It's a watertight sealed one, and then you're going to latch that into your speaker module. Um, if you're struggling to find this cable, um, I found it a little bit further up. Um, it should definitely exist, and if you want to open up this before you even order your speaker, um, you, you're more than able to just open that and have a little look. It's not going to mean that you're going to be out of pocket anything, really. Um, so I'm going to undo this, connect it to the speaker, and let's see what happens. All right, now you're going to work this out yourself. So pull that back cover off there, and you'll notice there's a little tiny groove um, that's holding that back. You're just going to get something in there, preferably like a plastic thing, to push that up to unhatch hatch it, and then just use some force and you should be able to pull it off. You can see on my end cap there, there's a little tiny notch that's um, holding it in place. You need to undo that, and then you'll have access to the cable. We now go into our next stage, which is just plugging the cable in. So it will only go in one way. If it doesn't go in the way that you're doing it, then, yep. Yeah. All right, once that's firmly in there, we'll use a little plastic tool to push down our little clip to get it in place. Um, that looks like it's in place. Let me go just leave the speaker there for now. We'll have a look in the car because we should be able to get it to play music. So play current media. We're playing that. Yeah, it's working straight away. Out of the box. All right. Okay. That was decent. Um, horn sound. <laughs> that works, so now, yeah, works straight out of the box. So for you to be able to get access to Boombox, um, you're going to need to contact Tesla service, and they'll push a software update. They charged me about $50 to do it, but I've heard some people have not paid anything for it, and Tesla's just pushed the update. Um, megaphone, hello? Hello? Yeah, I can hear you yeah, too, mate. <laughs> Hello, Tesla. Hello, Tesla. People. People. Yeah, that, that actually sounds a lot louder than I expected. Fantastic. Alrighty, just doing a little uh, ending to the video because it seems that my skills of editing videos um, are somewhat not very good and what ends up happening is we end up with a clip that is exceptionally long and doesn't need to be that long. So I'm sorry if uh, you found this video too long and, and stretched out. Um, um, but what you'll see is that yes, I installed everything, um, the external speaker is working. Some odd things that I've found uh, since installing it is that when I put the car in reverse, it is technically supposed to make a sound um, similar to what a UFO humming sound uh, when the car is doing under, say, 12 kilometers per hour in reverse. Yeah, it doesn't make anything. Um, I'm not sure if that's a thing I can randomly ask Tesla what's going on with that. I might go down that avenue eventually, but um, it seems that what my car can do now is that I can use the, the megaphone, um, I can use the... the um, the random horn sounds, which are only accessible when the car's in park for the Australian market as well. Um, so if I can go old horn. Okay, that was weird. That just came through my car. <laughs> it's supposed to come through the horn. Uh, hold on. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> I think the car was a bit confused there for a second. Um... If you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave them down in the comments or on the Facebook page or on my YouTube page and I'll try and come back to them. Uh, the location where I sourced my speaker from was just on AliExpress. Uh, I did look on Amazon but I wasn't able to find very many listings so that's why I'm just suggesting if anyone wants to find it, 
Um, have a look on eBay, have a look on AliExpress, um, you should find it. It's just a generic one that might say it covers from 2019 up until 2021. Um, if all else fails and you're not happy to do this yourself, I'm not forcing you to do it, to do it yourself. You can just go directly through Tesla and they will add it. All right, thanks for watching. One of the other cool things I'll add um, as an extra thing is that if you go into Santa mode now, you'll see that it says spread cheer. So if you tick on spread cheer and then turn it on, that's going to come from outside now. <laughs> um, and the other thing that I'll mention uh, to get Tesla to push the update so you have Boombox just put in a service request and say that you know you've already um, purchased the speaker you've had it installed um, please add the software to my car they will send you a estimated cost on it um, I paid around $50 to have them enable it it can be done um, that's how I have Boombox now in my 2021 Tesla Model 3.